Well, hey, Southern Idaho, how are you doing? I didn't see you there. Rick Greenwald, manager of the Faulkner Planetarium here at the Herod Center. I hope you're doing good on your quarantine. I'm here with my big mystery box. Now, the other day, I posted a picture of this on Facebook and asked all of you to offer up some guesses as to what might be in this big mystery box weighs 790 pounds. Some great guesses from all of you. Let's see, there was a guess of dinosaur model. No. Um, new fossils. Uh, no. Uh, a telescope. Well, we got a bigger one upstairs in the observatory. Uh, it wouldn't even fit in this box, so no, not a telescope. Good friend of the Herod Center, Elaine Bryant, asked, baby Columbia mammoths? No air holes in this box, and uh, oh yeah, they're extinct. That'd be a really great thing if we could bring them back, but I uh, know. Then we had a few people kind of get on to something. Dylan Holly asked, did you star upgrade? Clark Draney exclaimed, Digistar 6! Emily Papado exclaimed, Digistar 8! Digistar 8 doesn't exist yet, but Digistar 6 does. Yes, folks, inside here is a computer rack for the brand new Digistar 6 system going into the Faulkner Planetarium installing on May 5th. Out with the old Digistar 5, in with new Digistar 6. Why? Well, let me explain. So welcome behind the scenes of the Faulkner Planetarium. We're in the projection gallery at the back of the theater. And this right here is one of the two JVC DLA SH7 NL projectors that currently put the image on the dome. Each one of these projectors is fed by four graphics computers. And uh, this one covers a little over half the dome. The one on the opposite side covers just a little bit less than half the dome. And the one on the other side has a bit of a problem and has had a problem for a while. It's got an optical block going bad in it. These projectors have that issue. And JVC offered a trade-in wanting to get these out of the marketplace. And so these are being replaced by new laser phosphor projectors from JVC. These new laser phosphor projectors will be brighter, they'll have better contrast, and they also have more vibrant colors. So what you see on the dome is going to be looking a lot better. Sharper, brighter, more vibrant colors. It's going to be something to experience. So here are the new JVC DLA VS4010R projectors waiting for installation here in the Faulkner Planetarium. Digistar 6 is going to give us better capabilities than Digistar 5. There are all kinds of things built into Digistar 6 that aren't in Digistar 5. Uh, the big thing that you, our guests, will notice is the difference in the image on the dome. No doubt you're going to notice a big difference when you can return back to the Faulkner Planetarium when we can welcome you inside. But you know, um, that's not all that's on the horizon because uh, Emily Pompano, Digistar 8, I said it doesn't exist. It doesn't, it, it won't exist for a while. But Digistar 7 exists. And into our sales agreement, we built in that if there was a major software upgrade within one year of installing Digistar 6, we get the upgrade. Well, Digistar 7 is announced. It's being released sometime probably this summer. And when it's released and ready to go, we're moving from Digistar 6 to Digistar 7. In fact, there's a slight possibility that by the time we can welcome audiences back here to the Faulkner Planetarium, we might already be Digistar 7. But folks, this is what's coming. We start installing on May 5th. It'll take us uh, just about a few days. Uh, by the 8th, it should all be installed. And we've got some great new shows lined up also. So big things coming to the Faulkner Planetarium once we can safely invite you back for shows. So Southern Idaho, look forward to that. This is Rick Greenwald, manager of the Faulkner Planetarium, hoping that your quarantine is going well. Be strong. And I look forward to the time when we can safely welcome all of you back here into the Faulkner Planetarium and make this theater really come to life because it's you, our guests, that make this place what it really is.